All right, so here's my making for innovation project right here. Um, this is the drone I've been working on. And so, yeah, it's pretty much completed. So here's like the basic anatomy of all of it. It looks like kind of a mess. And well, I guess it kind of is because all the exposed wires and there's not really a frame over holding it, but it does work. So I guess that's, that's the, uh, the main goal for this entire thing. And so right here we have a Raspberry Pi with a camera attached to it. Back here we have a LiPo. This LiPo is soldered, oh, wrong side, soldered right there into uh, the P PBC board. Uh, that's actually right here. And then this is connected to a switch right here. And that's actually soldered into the PC board. And then that actually is connected into our Arduino in order for us to, uh, when we turn on the switch for the actual drone and the motors, then the Arduino will also turn on, and that's kind of like the whole brain of, of the drone. And so, um, right here, uh, you, it's kind of camouflaged with it. It's a little it's sticky tacked right onto the, uh, the Arduino, but this little computer chip thing right here, that's uh, an accelerometer and gyroscope. That's going that makes sure that our drone does not uh, over tilt and like doesn't like flip over. And so. And so the only re reason way this would be able to flip over is if there was like too much mass on it. And so we will certainly find out in this video if it if that does happen or not. But um, yeah, there's the propellers. Propellers are are installed right here on um, the motors. The motors are connected uh, with wires, and then that's connected to a, a electronic uh, controller right here. And I, they have one of those on each of these four uh, arms. And so. Right here, also, this these aren't these aren't wires. I when I first got this, I looked at it for like about an hour, and I was like, "What is this thing?" But no, this is actually just a antenna for our receiver, and our receiver is also plugged into our Arduino. And so, I guess uh, enough talking. I should get this thing uh, get this thing going. So, right here, I have this HDMI hooked up to my computer from our Raspberry Pi. This is just the Raspberry Pi is simply only for the drone, or not the drone, the camera aspect of it and I fried like three Raspberry Pis so that's a goodbye my bank account for that but yeah like that Raspberry Pi that's done I I kind of fried it earlier but and so right under underneath the, the thing we have a uh, uh, portable charger instead of trying to connect it with wires just because I don't want to uh, destroy another Raspberry Pi because I do like using them and they're not very cheap right now and so to get started with our code to get the camera on we're going to insert this command um, we do ha the entire, whoops, the entire, um, command is located in here for it. Um, I, I guess if you want to see it, this is the entire, uh, code for the, for the camera itself. And so it's, it's decently long. Um, there's a lot of websites that kind of help you go about this, but pretty much, um, the important thing is at the bottom right here. And so... All, all you have to do is when uh, the Arduino, or not the Arduino, the Raspberry Pi is connected on the same networks, like the same Wi-Fi, as long as you know the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, you can pretty much uh, log in um, uh, by entering the IP address into a search bar. And so like for, for this one, um, you kind of see it, that's it there. But this thing is, it's not, it's not currently on right now, so that way um, you don't see the screen right now. Um, but... That's uh, that's uh, going to be displayed on the screen, and so like for my laptop right here, I will be showing showing the display of that. So it should be really cool. And so we're going to go back and type this in it's right here to our code. And as you see, um, it's currently running. And so then we can then type in the uh, IP address to this, and I've typed it in before, so it should just be. Um, Slash, oops, I forgot the colon. Colon slash slash. And this is HTT. Oh, that's why I did not put it in. TTDP. Uh, colon slash slash. There we go. That's the IP address that I, that's used. Um, you can locate the IP address pretty easily on Raspberry Pi. There's a bunch of different tutorials for that also. I usually just go to my VNC server and then just go straight there. But we're going to type that in. And now you can see my face recording. Oh, and the camera kind of fell on, but uh, there's some sticky tech on this to kind of support it, so. There we go. 
So you can see my, you can see the recording of me as I am recording myself. So it's pretty funny. And you could change the commands on the uh, camera itself to like give it a good cool screen. And so right here, my camera says a uh, camera point of view, prepare to die. That's originally because I was going to install like a Nerf blaster on this, but Nerf blasters are really heavy. And getting that actually um, hooked up to it would have been a lot of troubleshooting, a lot of problems, especially when the hardest problem of this was actually trying to get the thing to fly. And so, and so, yeah. So that's that's the drone point of view camera right here, and so I can actually unplug this thing so it doesn't look like I'm like cheating it. So I'm gonna set this down on the ground for a little, it's gonna be black for a couple seconds. So I'm gonna unplug the HDMI. There we go. There we go. And so HDMI is unplugged. So now this thing is pretty much free to move. And so I had troubles with the VNC server on this earlier, so that way, yeah, yeah. But now, now you, know, you can see it's a free body right now. And so, yeah. This is the drone right here. It's full glory. And I'm going to set this on the ground. Actually, I'll set it on my bed right now. Just so, uh, in case anything bad does happen, it kind of has like a soft landing. And so, I'm going to move my laptop over here. There we go. And so... It is a little bit leggy for uh, for it, and so yeah, you can see it's, it, it takes like a little bit of a few seconds in order for it to actually, uh, you know, um, reconfigure itself. That's just because uh, you know it's a it's a it's a cheap camera, and so it's going to do that. But anyways, to turn this thing on, we have a switch right here. This thing will turn it on. This thing's going to beep quite a bit. It's going to make that do 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 noise twice, and then right here. This is our flight controller. All you gotta do now is just turn it on. This is gonna, and it's gonna give us a warning, which means that all the, not all the switches are, are down. And so for these, or for up, you want these to be up, and you want this to be down also. Otherwise, this thing will be throttling, and you don't want that because that could be very dangerous. But yeah, now uh, everything is pretty much set, set for this right now. And so you can see all the the lights right here, uh, working with Arduino. Um, the lipo is right under there. Um, no, the red light is not coming from the lipo. I'd be very scared if that was happening, but no. So this is all um, pretty much set to go, and so we are going to uh, press up on on the controller a little bit in order to get a little bit of spin going. And so, and so, this kind of scares me, but we're going to. See just how good the sink get. Holy. All right, and so we had two propellers fall off. Um, those were not secured, but um, these things will go very fast. So I'm gonna take these off actually, just so I can show like how fast this thing actually can go, because it's actually kind of insane. And so. So I'll just take that off, take that off. All right, now I'm gonna go like throw throw fall on this and just see kind of what happens. And so yeah, that's uh, that's the project right there. And so thanks for watching.